Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and today's video is uh, going along with the Christmas collaboration, Christmas craft off collaboration with Rach and Bella Crafts here on YouTube. And my day is today, Monday the 20th. And I am also crafting along with um, Stacy's Crafty Jam. I will leave the link tree or link in um, link in my description box below. It's going to take you through every day if you want to, or you can pick and choose what day you want to go and uh, watch the creator's videos. But I would definitely recommend starting at the beginning if you haven't already. And going through, I have a few days I need to catch up on. Um, but anyways, like Mom was on, what day? The 5th. Julie from Camellia Craft Design, she was on the 3rd. Uh, Corey Dahlman was on the 7th. My Porch Prince was on the 8th. This is just a few that I, I know. Uh, G was on the 11th. Angela was on the 12th. <coughs> um... I think this might be the first time I have uh, participated when there's been two creators each day instead of just one. Tracy Fox will be on the 28th. Uh, our friend and design team member, Kara Brandon, will be tomorrow. So make sure to watch tomorrow's too. Oh, look, Taddy Treasures uh, was yesterday. So like I said, I have a few that I need to catch up on, but I would definitely recommend going and checking out every one of them. And the link will be in my description box below. <clears throat> Here is the Santa's to-do list. I've had so much going on, y'all. I've been sick. I'm still, <coughs> excuse me, getting over that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lingering and lingering and lingering. But um, I'm getting over being sick. We got new internet here at the house. I had trouble trying to get my printer to connect to the new network. It's been a whole thing. We've, we've went through all the things. Um, this cut off, my printer cut off the top. It said Santa's to-do list. And this is like our prompts. Who's creating each day and then our prompt. <clears throat> my prompt... Mine and Stacy's is Christmas recipes from Granny. That's just, you know, kind of like a mm, make you think kind of thing. And what are you going to create with it? Well, I know most of you that have been following along with the uh, Christmas Craft Off collaboration have already seen the kit. I'm just going to hurriedly go through what I have printed off. Actually, what Mama printed off for me. Yeah. I just I, it, it's been a it's been a ordeal anyway she printed off quite a bit for me this is just like one of the most gorgeous kits ever so pretty and I got her this is not all the kit either I got her to do the shabby backgrounds there's a uh, clean and crisp kind of background paper uh, set and then there's a shabby kind of grungy vintage and I got her to do that one for me so here's fussy cuts look at them how cute they're so cute you can get this at Rachel and Bella's Etsy shop and that will be in the link tree also <clears throat> and just excuse me so much for clearing my throat as much as I will be during this video I'll try to edit out as many as I possibly can but I know that there will still be some left in. So cute. Look at all the little postage stamps. I love these. So that's fussy cuts or ephemera. And then you got some tiny ones too. So timeless fussy cuts <clears throat> was what that one was. Gracious. Just all the head yuck for um two weeks now yeah it's been so fun uh timeless ephemera add-on and this has some fun stuff i will be using i'm gonna i'm gonna use everything that i'm showing you just not all of it but i want to um cut out some of these pockets and uh envelopes to use in my project i'm gonna show you look at those fun file folders 
I love this kit and it's huge. And that reminds me of, <clears throat> you know, this is one of those build up pockets. It reminds me of that uh, pocket I did on the M Scrapbusters not too long ago. Some beautiful tags, little bitty tags, some beautiful tall pockets with the cards. Look how gold just, just go, just, well, I'll be able to get the sheets apart in a moment, maybe. All right, and then, this is one of the main things I will be using in mine. And Mama was even having a little bit of problem <laughs> with her printer. Uh, it did borderless, and it cut off some of it. Timeless Christmas Collection. And um, Mom did do these for me front and back. So I'm really loving that. Um, just gorgeous backgrounds. And we will be using these. So that's the shabby backgrounds. Some of them, she even, look, Mama even put me a note. Sorry, maybe put some lace on there. <laughs> Uh, you know, everybody has printer problems. It's not just you guys that watch our videos. We creators have printer problems, too. I love that Santa. Too cute. Oh, look at those. Very pretty. I love the collage. There's another one I'll have to cover up, huh? <laughs> Nah, I'll just make a shorter page. <clears throat> a little train reminds me of Polar Express. I love these collage pages, Rachel and Bella. Too pretty. There's another one that'll need to be a short page, or a little bit shorter page. Nothing major. It's okay. I'm good. I'm fine. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Look at them, how cute. Upside down, but very cute. All right. So, now for those that had already seen all of the kits and are just now back to me. Hi. <laughs> you fast forwarded through all of that. That's good. That's fine. I just did that for the ones that have not seen the kit yet. And like I said, I did not print off. Uh, Mom did not print off everything for me because I told her, I won't use it all, so you don't have to do that. So I'm going to be using the um, altered index cards that I made into vintage Christmas postcards. And they are actually going to be used not as postcards. They are going to be used as recipe cards. Yes, recipe cards. That's what we're using these for. I will link where um, my video where I made these in the description box below. Also, if you want to craft along with me, get you some paper bags, just regular old lunch sack paper bags. And these are white. A lot of them just come in the craft, and that's fine. Use whatever. Um, they're about, it doesn't matter, though, if you you have some smaller because, you know, We'll um, be cutting these down. <clears throat> these are almost 11 inches long by five and a quarter wide. But the fun thing about these is the little four by six, no, three by five, sorry, three by five index cards fit right down in them just like that. Who would have thunk that? And so we are making recipe card pockets from paper bags. And then I'm going to show you how I'm using these recipe card pockets. Now, this right here. I love that. I love the crinkle. I love that sound. So what I'm doing is getting the bag and just folding it up. And leaving myself about 
two inches at the top when I fold it up. That's all I'm doing. And each one of these bags is going to hold two of my recipe cards. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had one stuck together. So if each pocket is going to hold two, then I need five pockets made. So there's three. And I'm just, I'm folding up that part. We're not going to need it, so fold it up over it. Doesn't really matter if you get them all the same height. But yeah, leave about two inches at the top. Whoops, <clears throat> I fold that one the wrong way. About two inches at the top. There we go. And... Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just holding them up to, against each other. They're mm, almost the same. Wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah, whatever. So now I'm going to move this beautiful kit over to the side. And we will get to that in just a moment. Because we're going to cut these down. So <clears throat> I'm going to, I want them to stay like this as far as the height. So this pocket and this pocket, we're going to open this one up. We're going to cut off about, let's do it this way so I can accurately tell you how, many, how much we're cutting off of it. Um, let's cut off two inches and we can always save this and use that as a little pocket if we want to. I'll put it there. I might not ever use it, but oh well. We'll see. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it around and do the exact same thing on the tall side and cut two inches off. So now when we fold it up, it's a little shorter. See, huh? See? Okay. And when we put our index card in here, we have that and then we put our other one in here we have that so it sticks out a little bit there and we can um, glue or staple or something a little bit here so this recipe card doesn't um, fall down too far so look cute we got to decorate of course so now I'm going to do the same thing with all of these and cut two inches off of each flap. So we'll have opening here, opening here, and they end up being <clears throat> about four and a quarter tall. Okay, so when you go to fold a regular journal page, And you put it in like a pocket, a side pocket here. And see when you have the card in there, you can measure how far out you want the pocket to be. If you want it to come out this way so you can see the card, the top card. See, I love that. So you can cut off a little bit less if you want to. I like how this looks. We are going to assemble these in just a moment. And then I'm going to show you how I'm using them because I'm not going to use them in um, the traditional half sheet journal way. I'm going to <clears throat> cut down my pages. Make kind of a mini. It's not going to be too, too M-I-N-I. But it will be mini. A little smaller than what we're used to. And then there is another way you can use it too without putting it in a traditional journal style. And I'll show you that too. Okay, there's our next one. Folds up and it's pretty much, 
exact. So let's do the others. So before I um, tape this flap down, I'm not going to leave this open back here because we just want two pockets on each of these. Um, before I glue this down though, we're going to decorate that so it kind of goes down below it and then we can glue that down. What I am going to do right this second though <clears throat> is get some liquid glue and I'm going to end my larger pocket this pocket here where if we put the recipe card, index card, whatever, down in there, it's going to keep sliding and keep sliding. So what I'm going to do is just down in here, just put a little line so that my index card doesn't fall any farther down than what I want it to. So just a tiny little line of glue. You could use a staple if you wanted to too, but I don't want to have that sharpness on the back of my pockets. So I'm just doing this. Now I've done five because I have ten recipe cards. You don't have to do Five, just do one of these and I mean these could just be goodie pockets and you could put all kinds of like a little uh, like potpourri sachet or you could put some tea in here and a gift card and your own personal card or whatever and make them a little goodie filled pockets. That would be truly wonderful. Um, so now I'm going to use some of this that doesn't have anything printed on the back and I'm just going to cover these pockets. And y'all know me, the ones that have been here the longest know that I hardly ever measure, I hardly ever get the ruler out. I know I've already gotten it out in this video, and that's kind of crazy. I hardly ever do that. I get my pen and mark where I need to cut these. And guess what? I'm going to go ahead and cut it all the way up. And yes, I'll cut. Well, maybe I won't go all the way up on this one because I want to save her for something. I will go a good ways up so I can use this pattern twice on two pockets. So I'll go all the way up to her collar. And then I'll cut across there. And then I'll go ahead and cut here. And I might can use these for the smaller pockets on the bottom. Cute! Alright, so there's one. <clears throat> and I'll glue that on, ink around it, of course, and then glue this here. So let's ink. All around. Oh, if you wanted to... Um, around the corners. You could do that too. But I'm good. I'll leave it like it is. Yeah, I think some of this sickness that I am encountering now is um, allergies because the seasons are changing and my allergies act up every time the season changes. Like right now, my nose is so itchy, I could scratch the thing off. So I guess I just need to go take me some allergy medicine. But I need some with D in it, the decongestion, you know. And 
that is like an act of Congress getting that around here because the naughty people use the decongestant medicine to do other things besides decongest their nasal passages. So, um, yeah, that's like an act of Congress. Okay, on some of these, I'm getting some bulk right there, and it's wanting to pop up. So it's just on the inside. I'm not cutting the outside. I'm just kind of debulking right there and right there, just on the inside. And then I'll go ahead and run my glue all the way around because remember what I said I'm not leaving that other one open so we've got three pockets I just need two pockets <clears throat> so I'm gluing that down but then this of course opens up look you have your own little gusset already made you could add even more to it if you want to um let's see I don't think that that's going to be quite tall enough <clears throat> but I could use some of the Christmas tree stuff but mm, nah um, I'm not too crazy about her body being up here and her head being down here that kind of looks exorcist looking so let's go let's go a different route with that I think I really love this green Christmas paper and we'll just cover the bottom pocket with that And then I'm just going to mark where I need to cut it with my pen. And then cut that down. You know, the second I start giving exact measurements, in videos and I've heard mom say this a hundred times the second I start saying okay this is the exact measurement you need for this project I get four gazillion comments on the video that wasn't right you didn't measure that right mine didn't come out like that because you told me the wrong measurement that measurement you use is not exactly the measurement I need to use. So, mom and I both are like, you know what? Mark it with your heart. <laughs> Just love on it a little bit and it'll work. The exact measurement thing is just... It's a more heartache for us than it is a help to you. I guarantee it. So, there's that. <laughs> I'm just sharing all the dirty laundry today. Look, there's some more dirty laundry. I didn't get it wide enough. But guess what? Little ink takes care of that. We're good. Now, if you're using the craft sandwich bags, lunch bags, whatever, you won't have to worry about that because you already got the brown around the edges. Already brown around the edges your project is. So you're good. Okay. I'm thinking that I want a thumb notch here but not there. I think so. Let's do it. And I'm just going to do a little shallow one. Just little. Um, and I should have done it before I glued it. So <laughs> That worked out so perfectly. I'm telling you. Look at it. How janky. That was just like the squirreliest, chipmunkiest little something or other. 
ever. But it worked out. We're fine. A little, little grungier on our, on our thumb pull than what we wanted it to be, but we're good. All right, and then I'm going to ink on the back side because when you, yeah. Yeah. So let's ink a little on the white. You know, I'm not a big stickler as far as, oh, I don't want to see any stark white on my projects. I'm not a stickler about that. You know, I'm good. But I will cover up some stuff. But look, y'all, look. There's one. There's two. And I'm not saying that that's the only thing that needs to go into your pockets because they got such big gussets. You can put anything in there. Look, look how they sandwich out. It's crazy. Put all kinds of stuff in it. But that is just like, I love it. So cute. So, so cute. Um, and then we can cut out some of the fussy cuts, put them on here. Um, if you've got any other kind of die cuts, of course, put them on there. I love this little number label. That's just on my desk. And I uh, might put it on there. I will put a little fussy cut on there, too, when I get it cut out. But I do like that. After it's got all over my fingers. Cute. Now, I'm going to go ahead and decorate these off camera and get some of the fussy cuts cut out so that we can decorate after I get the papers put on these. We can decorate these fun little recipe pockets and then I'll show you how I'm going to use them or how they can be used uh, two different ways. And here are my pockets. And I thought I might could add a couple of, of these little labels too. Of course, when I start recording back is when my computer decides to send me notifications. Um, that and let's see if any of these others. Ooh, heartfelt. That's cute. Um, I'm going to put this one here. That's already got words on it. Well, I like that. Put it right there on that one. I don't want to cover up that music. So three will have these little labels that are just on my desk. They fell out of something and I was like, I don't know where they go back. They just fell out. I'm going to leave them on the desk and I will eventually use them. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Then this one I'm going to show you. I'm going to put on my decoration with you. I'm also going to show you while I was off camera, I did a little bit of surgery on these so they don't flap open as wide as this. See how wide that is? We're not ever going to need it to be that wide. So... What I'm doing is going back behind this back flap up at the top and sealing that off on both sides. And then same thing here behind this back flap. I'm just putting some glue so that the back flap doesn't open up so wide. That's all I'm doing. So when you close it up, see it doesn't open up as wide. I've got some stickiness there for some reason. There we go. It doesn't open up as wide on you. Love that. Let's put our little gingerbread reindeer down here. Cutest little thing ever. Love this little jewel here. So that is my pockets decorated, assembled. Now I need to put my cards into each one. So I've got that one there. These, both of these have the bold. So I'm gonna put one in one and one in another so they're not too matchy matchy. Okay, there's that one. 
And then I want the ones that's got the little girls on it and that I cut their legs off. I want them to be seen a little bit better, so I'm going to put them in the bottom. Um, let's find another. There's the other little girl. Put her in the bottom of this one. Cute. I'll put the bell on the top of this one. The Spirit of Christmas. Um, see, now here's something. I don't, I don't like that because the tabs on these are both on the right side. So, I need to change these out. So I'm going to put a, put one that's got a middle tab or a left tab in the bottom of this one so that I, they're opposite, you know. Uh, those are a little close together, but they're not too bad. Then this one can go here. Uh-oh, I might run into, I don't have any other choice. Because <laughs> I didn't make enough of them with um, left tabs. Look at me. Okay, that one's a little different. It's not in the same spot, so I can put that one there. If it wants to cooperate, okay. Not too bad, and then that one's not going to be too bad because it's a little more in the center than it is over there. Mm. I'm going to live with it. It's okay. So now I've got all of my paper bag pockets packed up. Two ways that I would use these. Um, you can... Let's say I'm going to go with this one first and line them up like this. You could, without covering up everything, just barely put a line of glue here, sandwich it on. Barely a little line of glue on the bottom of that one, sandwich it on. Same way, same way. Then cover the back with whatever you would like. And then you would have it all glued on the bottom and you would have like a little accordion cookbook here. You could even glue these together so you wouldn't have all of that bulk. And you could have yourself kind of like an uh, index card, the rotor kind of thing, rotary kind of index card kind of thingy file folder, file card, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't come after me in the comments. So like that. You could do that. Totally do that. You could take the cards out and punch holes. Uh, punch holes there, punch holes there, and put you um, a ring in both and have, you know, a flip floppy kind of thing. You could do that. But the way I'm going to use these because I love me some journals and this is the way I'm going to use these. I'm going to get my paper that is already printed double-sided and I'm going to cut it down to seven inches tall. So I'm going to get some of these papers that if I cut the tops off it won't be you know the end of the world. But like this I don't want to cut the top of the tree off. This one is fine. I could cut that off. I don't want to cut the top of that tree off. This one is fine. This one would be fine. I wouldn't be cutting the top of the angel off. I wouldn't be cutting the top of Santa off. I would be cutting a little bit of the bow. I'm okay with that. Um, this one... This one will be fine. I hate that I would be cutting off the steeple, but I love Santa and the little girl there. And I think that might be enough pages. What if I go with this one, since I've already got a Santa in there? Let's see. We have got one, two, three, four, five pages. That is plenty just going to be a little journal. Five pages and then I'm going to get a couple of book pages. 
ledger paper and I'm going to cut this in half. This is going to be two short pages in the journal. And two tea stained papers. Okay, so I'm going to cut this ledger paper in half. like so and then I'm going to cut this paper down to seven inches tall I've got some nice strips for my scrap bowl okay the book pages do not need to be cut and then I'm going to get these pages And I'm going to cut them. So I'm just going to get a couple of them, cut them down to seven inches. And seven inches. Then I'm going to fold everything in half. So we have seven inches tall, yes, by five and a half wide when it's folded. So let's just fold everything really quickly. And then assembly. So I'm just going to pick, say I love that angel. She might be the front of my signature. And then I'm going to go with my tea stain paper, ledger paper, one of the ornaments. A book page another one of these pages I think I'll go with that one I like how that's kind of matchy matchy and then the other ledger paper and guys if you don't like how it looks when you get it assembled you can always reorganize the pages no worries. I want Santa to be in the middle. So let's see. I think I need this ledger paper is going to go here. And then Santa is going to go here. Mm. Nope. Book page is going to go there. I want the ledger paper to be in the middle. So book page is going to go there, Santa here, oh yeah I like that, ledger paper there, and there is our journal assembled. I will get my cutter out and all of these pages that are kind of yeek sticking out. I'm just going to run over them and try to get everything as even Stevens with the cover as I possibly can. Look how pretty that turned out. We're good. Yay. So all that trash. And then before we sew this together, just want to make sure of how my pockets are going to look. See, when I put my pockets in like this, and the little top tab is going to stick out from there. I really love that. 
nice little soft cover journal. You don't even have to have a cover. You don't have to put another cover on it if you don't want to. You can back this with some cardstock if you want to to sure up this. Um, that would be a great idea. But I'm not going. I'm not planning on being um, murderous with this journal. So I think I will be good. So our little sticky outies that we have will be the tabs from these pockets. So let's go ahead and sew this together. So there is it sewn together. And I'm just looking through here making sure, oh, everything is the right side up and it is. Yay. Okay. Now I'm going to add my pockets in. And I think I'm going to add one here just to cover up a little bit of that orange. Orange is not my favorite color. And it's, this is a little bit bright, so I am going to cover that up. I'm going to line my pocket up with the edge of my page here and you can go as far down as you want. You can go as far as up, up as you want. I think I'm going to put mine in the middle of the pages and I do believe that I'm going to use instead of liquid glue I'm going to use score tape just because I want to move on from these pockets when I get them on. And if I use liquid glue, I'm going to have to sit and press and hold and all the things. So I'll just do it like this so I don't have to worry about waiting around. Once it's on, it's on. So if I make a mistake, that just means I'm human when I put it down, huh? And this journal is going to have enough bulk, so I'm not going to make these pockets tucks or anything like that. They're going to be bulky enough. Let's go there and get all of these off. And I'll show you how I'm going to line it up and put it on. And then I'll go ahead and get the rest of them put in and I'll show you where I'm going to put them but you won't have to go through the whole I think I'll what I'll do the smart thing and I'll take that top one out line it up where I want it I'll tell you one thing the stripes on that paper do help as far as the placement of the pocket okay put my index card or my recipe card back in there and see I didn't even show y'all the backs of these recipe cards plain so you can write anything you would like you can write all your granny's recipes on those love that so there's the middle one done let me see the little tabby sticking out there lovely now let's get the rest of these put in here. I like the green stripe and the green stripe kind of matchy matchy. So we're going to do that as well. And I'm going to come down a little bit because I love how that looks. And we're going to get tabs at different areas, different places on the outside of the journal if we do it that way too. Okay, there is that one on. Cute. All right, let's figure out where to put the other three. I've got that one in the front. That one's in the middle. We need one toward the back. Okay. 
here's the one in the back. Finished that one. We'll close it up. Okay, so now we need um, these two to kind of go a little higher. And we'll just pick from in between. So, got one there, got one there. So, we need to pick a page through here. And I think I'll just pick that one. And we'll go a little bit higher. There's not going to be any that have a tab at the very top because I didn't make any with left tabs, really. So, yeah. That one's going to go there. So here is this one. Close it up. <coughs> and we're a little, excuse me, a little, a little staggered there. And then, we'll push that one on in some. Um, we need to go from middle to back and figure out a page to put this one on and I do believe I want to put it on this we haven't put any on a pattern page I don't think yet have we we put it all on the coffee dyed paper pages whatever yep I'm gonna put it on this one and there is that one it kind of lined up exactly with that one. Oh well doesn't matter if you want to you can go through and make a couple of different tabs. Let's just go ahead and do that. Get my index tab punch and some of that paper that we have just the little bitty. Mm, that's too thin. That's too little bitty. Let's do a Christmas tree one. And then what else we got left? Have I got enough room to do this? Oh yeah, let's do it this way. And that does away with that little piece of scrap. And we can make a couple of tabs to go where these tabs are all bunched up. We'll do it in an opposite place. I love this tab punch. A lot of people love the um, whale tail tab punch, and I like that one too. But this one, as far as a lower profile, you're going to get it with this one. And we try to keep these stocked. These are uh, the We Are Memory Keepers, I think. No, EK Success um, Index Tab Punch. So then I'm just going to hold this up. And I believe... We need one here, some worse. It's not wanting to cooperate. I believe we need one there. And then, yep, I'm going to put that one on the very back page. I usually don't do tabs on the covers, but I like that. I'm going to put that on the very back page. So that takes care of the top, and then I think I might do one more tab, like right there at the bottom. Let's get a little different color one. All right, and that takes care of my OCD-ness of needing some more tabs sticking out of the edges. <laughs> okay, I adore this journal. And it it's not too bad, Pac-Man mouth. It doesn't fly open when you lay it down. That beautiful angel on the outside. Gorgeous! I do believe... Now, I'm not one to go through my journals and in ink all the pages but I do believe I would like to ink this cover and 
in the spine. Go ahead and turn it over. Look at the little city on the back. Now, it's not too often that the back of my journal is just as beautiful as the front of my journal. And that is all thanks to Rach and Bella. Their digital kit is amazing. And we could even put... What's this one say? How about one of the Tim Holtz word labels? A lot of good memories. I'm going to put on that tab right there. Cute. So we can leave these as is to write on if we want to, or we can cover them up. Um, on your pockets, if you want to, go ahead and you can seal this up too so it doesn't open up as much. Now I'm thinking I might want to put some more stuff um, in them. So I'm not going to do that. But now this side has already decided to do There we go. It had stuck together. So if you want to, you can go through there and glue these and seal them up. But I like the give to them. I'm going to leave them as is. This is a gorgeous kit. And it makes for a very easy journal making. Um, in these um, recipe cards, you can turn them over. You can write your ancestors, whomever it was, granny, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whatever, whoever, write their recipes on the back. And then this could be, you could make a title in the front, um, so-and-so's recipes in this journal, whatever you wanted to do. But I love this idea. And I love that you have enough space where you can write about each individual person, whoever's. Um, you could just do it as a family recipe journal. That sounds amazing. I love how it turned out. I hope that y'all did too. And thank you so much, Rach and Bella, for letting me collaborate with you. Oh, I didn't show you. I did that in a sped up version, didn't I? I did put a piece of lace in the middle just to give it some fun there. And we can decorate up more pages if we want to. I don't really want to put any more bulk in here because we've got all of those pockets, but... I really love how this turned out. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Rachel and Bella, for inviting me to collaborate once again. I loved it and loved my prompt. And I hope that I did you good, did you well with that. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so that you can get a notification every time I put up new content and make sure that you go and um, visit all the other creators in this collaboration. You won't be sorry. You're going to get some great gift ideas in this collab. Love, love, love it. I have all kinds of information in my description box below, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I want to hear from you too, so leave me a comment. Even if you don't have a question, let me know what you think of this project and the little um, recipe card pockets that we made from paper bags. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye, y'all.